sums up my whole, uh, I guess, my whole year, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not even 10. That'll be 12, finally. Well, that was a tournament. Sorry, I wasn't talking much there. We actually woke up late. We managed to get on the water 
before first launch, but woke up late and had a rush, and I didn't get a chance to put any context into this, but this was the last tournament of the year, and it was uh, one of the most important tournaments for two reasons. It was the qualifier for the Bassmaster Kayak Classic, also known as the Bassmasters Kayak Series National Championship. So this was huge. Let's just go into what we kind of did in the day and what happened. Uh, we get there, we launch, we go to a point that we were planning to do well on. Uh, we caught a bunch of dinks. For this series, you have to have, the fish have to be minimum of 12 inches to submit. And we didn't get our first keeper till about 9 a.m. at about 8 a.m. Uh, check the standings and there were two guys already in 70 inches at 70 inches or 60 something inches so they had their limit as well and uh, at that point I, I thought I was out of the race I was pretty much done for there's no way I was gonna be in the top 10% to be sent to the to the national championship we made we went into a bay fished a transition caught two off of a transition wasted about another two hours there it was about midday about 11 12 made our way to the next cut and fish another transition, ran into about six, a school of six, seven uh, smallmouth, and we threw out a drop shot, and we were, everything we caught today was on a drop shot. They just were really picky um, this time of year for some reason, they were really picky, and they weren't feeding super aggressively just yet, but uh, this school of smallmouth, they're aggressive, and we managed to catch two more keepers out of those, that school. We made our way back to the next, back to where we launched from, and we had about 10 minutes left at this point. I didn't have my limit, I needed one more to get my limit and uh, we uh, managed to catch our last keeper um, with like about 10 minutes left and thank god we did because we managed to squeeze out a third place finish and we finally got a, another piece of hardware to add to the collection so um, we what happened was I get to, get to the ramp and I'm like you know I, I think my day went terribly because I got like 67 inches and everyone else is telling me they didn't even catch a fish they caught one fish they caught two fish and I'm like oh well there's got to be somebody that there's got to be at least like another five six people that have a limit and they're up there right um, we get back to the world ceremony and so we start going off the standings they get it to fifth place and I'm like holy crap fifth place is like three fish or something like that um, they go fifth fourth and I'm like there's no way we just made and we just qualified for the national championship and uh, I knew I didn't get first or second for sure because I saw what the standings were um, and I knew I wasn't in the 70s so I know two, the two guys up top were in the 70s already so I know I didn't get first or second and I was very shocked 67 inches probably doesn't even get you like sixth place at like Pueblo or um, where else and even a horse tooth in the spring itself 67 inches you're not even you're probably not even up in the top 20. you know that's the one thing that's where it's like it really means a lot to catch a limit and always also means a lot to never give up and it being the last tournament of the year i wanted to enjoy it and i wanted to end on a good note with catching a limit and that's the last 10 minutes we could have easily just started loading up packing up but you just never know what's going to happen um you never know what you're going to run into in the water and that's what makes fishing so fun and interesting but it has been a great year of fishing. Uh, we had the motor this year. Also, we had a few changes. Apart from that, I just wanted to be, have a big shout out to my girlfriend, Jeannie, because uh, she's been going with me on all these fishing trips and all supporting me and both being there for me and um, you know waking up early with me and going on these long trips enduring the heat and the cold just from so I can go catch some slimy things off of this plastic kayak but uh, apart from that I'm looking forward to next year um, I'll have some videos out here soon with the black box uh, setup because I've got a question about that and then the whole kayak setup and the trailer setup too because I wet launched the, the kayak and um, I used to have raw tubes and whatnot, but we'll get into that in those videos. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. It's been a fun year of uh, filming, but thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.